What's up, John Morgan? So I'm out at Jim Jim Falls in uh, Northern Territory in Australia. First we drove out, four-wheel drive, uh, into the park, and then we hiked and scrambled over a bunch of boulders to get out here for about an hour and a half. It's pretty secluded. There's a handful of people out here. It's completely clear of saltwater crocodiles, so no fear of swimming, which a lot of this place isn't actually. There's a lot of signs of it where saying you can't swim because you will get eaten alive, basically. But the reason I want to make this video is um, because I'm in such this relaxed place and, and, and noticing how disconnected I am from all the things that usually are in my mind all the time. Um, I talked in my previous video about when you're redlining in life, uh, it's time to upshift. And a, part, a small part of that in the video I mentioned about putting the clutch in and then shifting to a higher gear. And the clutch was taking a break, taking some time off, taking some time to just relax, to step back a bit from everything you're doing, from everything you're engaged in, engaged in like the gears, uh, and just kind of consider life and what, where you're at. And so that when you come back, you can come in at a higher gear. Um, so I guess I wanted to reflect on the idea of the clutch going in and disengaging yourself or disengaging uh, the motor from the wheels, disengaging yourself from all the things that you're engaged in at home. You know, like there's times where I'll go away for the weekend or take a day off, something like that, and yeah, I'm physically not doing the behaviors of work, but actually, as psychologically, emotionally, I'm still engaged because even though I won't be there doing things, I'll be thinking about work, or I'll be thinking about what needs to be done, all the have-tos, right? The things we think we're supposed to have to be doing, all the commitments I have, all the things that I'm working on. Um, and like, has that email come in yet? And then, and then well, do I have a Wi-Fi connection? Well, let me see if I can grab a 3G and let me see if I can see, see what's going on. Because I want to know, I need to know. And then sometimes I'll go away, and if I'm away long enough, and this is the thing, it happens to be a few days away, right? And also days where I don't have access to internet. Um, if it happens to go long enough, I get to the point where psychologically and emotionally I actually fully disengage from all the things I think I have to do. And it's that psycho-emotional disengagement that is the actual putting the clutch down. For me, it's not just physically being away or um, physically being not having access. It's psychologically and emotionally disengaging. And that, for me, personally, that for me, that takes a few days away or it takes being offline for 24 hours. So coming out into nature for me is, is, is something that draws me out. Hiking barefoot, it draws me out of the, of the, of the work mode of all of the other things that I am doing and creating in my life um, back into, into the present moment. The part of life that's always there that we're ignoring when we're so engaged in our creative pursuits. And I, I love both, right? But I think being able to swing back and forth is important. And so really I, I'm reflecting on how important it is to put the clutch all the way down. Not to just fake it, not to put the clutch halfway, because if you've ever driven a manual transmission car and you put the clutch halfway and you try and shift gears, you know what happens. You don't really get to fully disengage or you start grinding the things, you can't get into the next gear. Your clutch needs to be fully, fully depressed. I had a truck once when I was 16 that used to have clutch fluid. And you would put fluid in the, um, the clutch system and, if, and the fluid had a small leak in it. And, and as the fluid would leak out, the clutch wouldn't work as good. And that's kind of like going on holidays or short holidays where I'm not fully disengaging. I'm not fully psycho-emotionally disengaging from my work and stuff like that, all the other concerns. And so it's not really a holiday. I'm trying to shift gears, but I'm not really doing that. And so coming out to a place like this where, I mean, how could you not psycho-emotionally disengage from everything else when this is here? I swam all the way out. And when I got here, there was nobody. There was nobody in the water. I swam all the way out. And I stood on my ledge. I climbed up. And... Uh, I stood under the waterfall and just looked up at it and just awesome power of nature just pouring down on you. There was, another, there was not a human being in sight, I couldn't see from there. Massive winds get created from the water pouring down, just blowing on it, it's freaking cold. And it was just like, you can't think, you can't care about anything else. And I think that's also what happens when you psycho-emotionally disengage, I mean that's my phrase for this. What happens is when that, is that your values shift. My values, the things that are important to me actually shift. So I'm, I, actually, because a few times during this trip, I've grabbed the 3G signal and some emails came pouring through and I was like, you know what? I don't even want to look at them. And typically it's like, oh my God, I gotta be on top of everything. I gotta be, I gotta be, I have to be, I need to be. It's almost incessant. There's the momentum of the creativity of the work, of the thing that I'm doing. And it's good because I love that. I love that momentum. And also, I love to be able to be free from it sometimes so I can look at it from, from afar. 
because that's how I upshift in my business and in my life is to get some me some distance, to have a meta perspective. And you can't have that meta perspective when you're fully engaged in it, or you're even a bit engaged in it because it draws you in. So being away, being away from it, and being able to look at it, that's what gives me the power to be able to see, oh, this thing, yeah, and have a new perspective and come back in at a different gear. And so in order to do that, to psycho emotionally disengage from that, it's to come to places like this, or to do things that really draw you out so far that you actually have a shift in value in that space and time of what's most important to you. So even if you get a 3G signal, even if an email comes in about work, for me, if that's what the context is, it's like, I eh, just don't care that much right now. I'm on holiday and this is my thing and I am, it just doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not faking it, I'm not telling myself I shouldn't because I want to have vacation, no, no, no. It actually isn't as important right now because I'm in this space, not just in body, but in mind and in heart and emotionally, spiritually, everything. And so, really this is just, it's a little bit of a piece of, of journaling for myself, this video, but it's also a message to you to check in with yourself. Like when you're going away and you're pushing the clutch down on your life and you're disengaging from the things that you're normally working on so that you can have space and relax, are you, full, are you putting the clutch all the way down to the point where you are fully psycho-emotionally, spiritually disengaged? Not just physically, but all, every aspect of your being disengaged from that thing, that thing that you're working on, that you're putting all your energy into, or you disengage from it so that you can be completely free to then upshift. To take your whole business, your life, your fitness, your health, whatever it is, your relationship to a whole new level. Are you fully disengaged so that you can do that? Because if you're not, you're going to grind the gears or you're not going to be able to even shift. You're going to stay right where you were. I hope you get to enjoy some time out in a beautiful place like this. If you ever want to come here, Jim Jim Falls, Northern Territory, Australia. Uh, but as many places like this on earth. Anyway, I'm going back to the water. Much love.